popular body style, unique especially in classics. It's 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle two-door hardtop. Consider this an SS tribute. A little more on the resto mod side of things too. It's got a 454 Gen 6 block with aluminum heads, Edelbrock intake, EFI setup, serpentine belt system, and then nicely equipped with power steering, power brakes, vintage AC. Take a look at the bright work up front here, chrome. And the bumper has been redone front and rear. Your grill headlight surrounds. This is called Velvet Blue Metallic, and it looks good on this car. Take your time looking through the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. If you're seeing this on YouTube, click down below in the description. There's a link. It's going to take you right to our website. You can also call us, 507-386-1726. Riding on Rev Chrome Wheels, five spokes. You can see disc brakes up front also. Take a look behind there. We're going to open the hood at the end of this video, start it up, let you hear it run. Very nice sounding car, and it's been well restored. There's no doubt about that. Like I said, more on the rest of my side, side of things, and we're going to get into even more of that here as we walk around this car. I want to show you the passenger side, how straight and nice these panels are. You can see, of course, they're long panels, free of any major nicks, dings, or scratches that I've seen. Interior has all been redone also as far as the vinyl seats. Of course, bucket up front, that B&M shifter. Carpeting, all redone. Check that out in the still pictures. Transmission in this car paired up with that 454 is a 700R4 automatic with overdrive. Another thing to remember is we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Mentioned the rear bumper has been re-chromed. There you go. Get a good look at it. Now this car will turn some heads. There's no doubt about that. Take this to any local roll-ins, cruise-ins, local shows. I think you're going home with some trophies. A little more about the engine. It does have hydraulic lifters. Uh, when we open the hood, you're going to see it does have aluminum radiator, uh, also headers. I mentioned the new carpeting and seats being reupholstered, also new windshield. Um, the grill, I did a column when we get to the interior. It also has Dakota digital analog cluster. Pioneer stereo system with Bluetooth. There's actually a three ring binder that will go with this too with receipts and manuals. Um, I think a lot of the Binder has manuals in it for the equipment and products that we're using in this build. And again, you can see driver's side just as straight and again, free of any major nicks, dings, or scratches. Stick around to the very end of this video, too. We're going to take this out and drive it. And uh, we've just got a stall converter in it. It's when this thing revs up and uh, you give it the gas, it is instant and it goes. And again, look at how nice. The seats have been redone. Blue on blue. Great color combination. All right. Now, as far as this Dakota digital dash, I'm going to show you something. We're going to turn this on. And you can see right there, trip A has 2,088 miles. Right here in this glove box or glove box, excuse me, ashtray, they have the buttons for changing your display, and there's a lot of things that this will do. There you go to trip B. You can switch the kilometers if you wanted. Of course, you have miles an hour over here. You have RPMs here. There's your actual odometer um, since the dash was put in. Maybe since the build with the 5,573. It wouldn't surprise me. Then watch down below. You got high speed, so you can monitor things you can do the uh, zero to 60 quarter mile quarter mile time there's another tack rpms and time so there's a lot of things you can do with that dakota digital uh, dash in your pioneer stereo system uh, another thing i want to mention is it does have the efi and there is a controller for it and uh, that's hooked up down here 
pull it out. We just kind of had it sitting between the seat. You get by a controller. And one important thing, right here there's a switch. Um, down is unlocked torque converter. Up is locked. So up at 50, 55 miles an hour and over going down the highway. The car's going to run a little cooler. It's a way to run that 700R4, that switch up going down the highway. All right, start it up. When it comes to life, it comes to life. Great sounding car and throttle response. Very good. All right. Speak with that headliner to a second. Looks good. How nice that door closes and fits. Here you go. In the pictures, make sure you take a look at the underside. Underside is absolutely beautiful. Also take a look at the trunk pictures. It's nice, it's as nice as the rest of the car. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open this hood so we can check out this engine bay. Eh? Alright, there's the underside of the hood, finished off as nicely as the rest of the car. It has warmed up, by the way. We had it out for a little drive earlier. These electric fans will kick on, get on and off. You're going to hear them. Aluminum radiator. Again, 454. A 10-6 block. There you go. You can hear the electric fan. Vintage AC. Headers. Great looking engine bay. Nice setup. HDI ignition. Nicely done car. 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle two-door hardtop. Let's say SS Tribute. And like I said, more on the resto bonnets side of things. Call us 507-386-1726. Uniqueclassiccars.com. Take your time looking through the still pictures. It's a beauty. We do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call it or email. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Here we have a 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle in a nice dark blue color. We have an automatic shifter right on the floor here a B and m shifter lots of power in this car you want to be careful with that throttle because she's got a lot of power and it feels like there's a torque converter allowing the use of that power to be put to the ground we have some nice aftermarket gauges Temperature showing about 125 right now. Fuel gauge is reading a quarter. Our tachometer is at 2,000 RPM and the oil pressure is at 50 pounds. And the volts are over 14. That all looks really good. Pioneer radio in the dash. Of course, that awesome Chevelle hood with the simulated venting on it very nice interior it looks like new carpet new seats bucket seats looking kind of factory very nice headliner this car is very well done brakes are working really well this car corners well